hey welcome back to my new video guys this is sampath you are watching sampath sam fx youtube channel my request is to guys subscribe to my channel i will be making similar kind of videos subscribe to my channel and if you like the video give it a like and here is the poco x oxygen os 11.0.9.9 oneplus 80 ported rom for this poco x3 let's see what all the features available bugs and is it good for daily driver and how is the gaming performance in this rom and also let's see the battery life and bugs and what all the features we are getting and how is the benchmark results everything we are going to see in this video also the flashing guide also we i have included in this video so watch the video till the end of the video such that you will understand is this a daily driver rom for you or not and uh, let's begin the video <music> And this is how the settings you get as you can see in the settings panel you get all the basic settings as you can see this is how the Android 11 based only as you can see the kernel used here is 4.14.10 quicksilver surya kernel and build number is oxygen os 11.0.9.9 as i explained and security patch you get still october only that's one thing you need to note and this is how the settings panel you get let's adjust a little bit of brightness here is it visible or not i don't know okay now i think it's visible and this is how the oxygen os looks like if you want to you can change the colors in the settings for example in the display settings you get adaptive brightness sleep time advanced settings you get refresh rate here you can select 60 or 120 120 is recommended screen calibration you get vivid natural advanced in advanced settings there are plenty of options you can check out here you can even adjust between cool and warm that's not a problem vision comfort is there you can turn on automatically or you can increase the temperature and brightness whenever you need it and reading mode also two different types of reading modes available and dark mode is available as you can see it's pitch black condition it's fine actually as you can see guys i have installed plenty of apps and testing it very I am mean, testing it hardly to check out what is this ROM for is it good for daily driver or not everything will be explained in this video and let's see how is the display settings this all the quick settings panel you get as you can see this how the panel looks in the dark mode let me disable the dark mode here okay as you can see i have disabled the dark mode ambient display is also given font size also you can change from here display size is also given status bar is given screen scale screen saver is given you can adjust them 
and next go into the customization here i am disappointed there is no wallpaper added in this rom do comment down below is it only for me is or it is for all and there are some of the shapes you can select here icon pack is also hydrogen and oxygen is given the wallpapers are missing simply here and this is the font you can change here in the sound and let me go customization this all the customization in accent colors you can choose any of the color if you want then you will get the change in quick settings even in the settings panel if you change the accent color and let's move into the sounds and vibration you get all the basic settings you can check out here and touch vibration is given system sounds are given and there is no dolby atmos that is missing previously whatever we had the oxygen was put there we are having the dolby atmos that is simply missing here and buttons and gestures you get alert slider but we don't have any alert slider here navigation bar and gestures you get all the basic options you can check out you can even traditionally go back to navigation bar and press and hold power button you can choose voice assistant or power menu long press to take a photo those are the gesture shortcuts you get in this rom and buttons and gestures i explained as of now and app permissions you can check out here print of options in the apps and notifications in the notifications there are options like this notification on lock screen you can select it in advanced settings the print of option you can check out bubbles are given at a glance is given blink light notification do not app icon dot app icon all are given in this rom special app access also and security and lock screen you get fingerprint unlock screen unlock face unlock also and even app locker is also pre installed in this rom which is not a problem and location settings are also working fine as you can see it's all based upon android 11 only and oxygen os 11 one plus 80 port you get all the basic settings and all the settings but dolby atmos should have been i mean could have been given that update but anyhow it has been missing now in the utilities you get pocket mode app locker parallel apps and quick reply in landscape is given in system settings you get language and input you can choose between the keyboards there otg storage experience improvement programs you get these settings you can enable or disable from here power off you can shut down from here that's the cool thing and this how the oneplus 80 oxygen os rom everything is working fine actually and you get this game booster mode and you can uninstall or install from here this how the rom performance as you can see this how the cool animation you get downside let's see one of the games i will open the bgmi i also kept for fingerprint lock for browser this is how the gaming mode you get and let's see the graphic settings what you get smooth plus 90 fps is unlocked in this option you can use it i'll test that one only and in the basic settings and here gaming mode is there tap to view options oh my god it does where do i get those options okay you need to swipe down you will get these kind of options you can go to whatsapp instagram and you can see the battery percentage and temperature no fps count is seen in this room and let's see it's super smooth guys 90 fps but there was a issue called ghost touch when you use multiple fingers but i am a thumb finger user i don't notice any problems here check out guys if you are like into that want that finger like multi finger function then you can definitely check out other roms oh, this is like bot lobby most of the bots were came in this game just see the smoothness don't see the performance it's fine actually the smoothness is also fine for me see whenever many players come in the classic matches definitely it will going to hang not just this rom i'll come out not just this rom or anything but how is the consistency that is very important in any custom rom let's see the cpu throttling test also the consistency is okay definitely not 
great but for a snapdragon 732g what can you expect more from a gaming that's all guys i want to conclude that you can definitely play games not a problem here and overall performance is also very good definitely it's smoother than the previous rom i can definitely say that i recently flashed that rom also you can check out i will give the card here you can check out i can conclude that this is a little bit better than that rom previously what we have seen in the oxygen os port in poco x this is going to be a little bit better that i can clearly say and do comment down below guys how is your experience with oxygen os in the past for poco x3 do comment down below such that other people will understand and make a decision to flash this rom or use it as a daily driver and as you can see i have running it up to one minute as of now i will stop it this can tell you just it's a benchmark scores or this can tell like i will show you the geekbench score also it is little bit downgraded compared to previous version as you can see single score is 549 and multi score is 1571 like that a little bit down i can tell but overall performance in this rom is very good and let's see the dialer you get what is the dialer you get and direct video call feature is given call recording will be there but it will announce the other persons it is going to record like that it is not a mui dialer or anything like that and all the basic settings are working fine if i had missed anything let me show you the speed test also where is the chrome browser okay here as you can see i also kept the app lock it's also working fine not a problem and with the wi-fi connection it's pulling up to 90 mbps it is not a problem let's see with the mobile data also as you can see sometimes the carrier aggregation it will come it based upon network around me but it's not a problem for rom or anything like that it's fine let's see whenever you get like this problem you need to reboot once then it will be okay but it has became just wait for a while and check out the speeds with mobile internet it depends upon your network guys around you how it is then it will be pulling according to that as you can see it's slightly pulling higher now regarding safety net status you will get safety net status get passed in this room let me show you guys takes a little bit let me switch to wi-fi here the connection is very poor in my area so i am using wi-fi as you can see it get passed and ott applications let me show you the drm info you can use all the ott applications which are working fine l1 certification as you can see out of the room no need to worry even safety net get passed you can use the payment applications ott applications all are working fine in this room and this is the oneplus gallery application you will get and even the file manager also oxygen os style you will get this is not a problem and all are working fine calculator also you get this kind of calculator it's fine google pane in the left side and if you swipe like this you will get this kind of one plus i mean oxygen os step count all these things this is the rom performance uh, if i had when you forget okay i have installed this nikita gcam i already said how to install this in previous videos also you can check out there as you can see this is the version of camera i am using in this poco x3 in oxygen os 11.0.9.9 one plus 80 port you can use any other pair of j cams plenty are available for poco x3 you can try one among them which is your favorite do comment down in the comment section below and drm info i have explained and this is how guys and let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's fast just because of the case it's getting delayed not a problem and let me show you the charging animation this of the charging animation you get in this rom oxygen os type and here you get this kind of logo while it is charging 
what you guys say about this rom also do comment down in the comment section below as you seen in the video the performance is good but definitely it's not a hardcore gaming rom but casual users it's most mostly everything you can do on this rom everything is working fine even the fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see even the face unlock also it's working fine as you can see this is how the performance of the security and basic things are also good you can check out my channel there are plenty of videos i already made on poco x3 also making some of the videos whenever they they will get updated i will be flashing the roms and making the reviews if you're still not subscribed subscribe it guys and also like the video and i'll say this could be a very good custom rom this is one of the best custom roms available for poco x3 you can definitely try it out as a daily driver without any problem and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now